Okay, morning. I'm just going to show you how to set up a very simple extended home network, either for, um, uh, I don't know, let's say B&B or Airbnb or something like that, and you want to give your customers uh, internet access in their rooms. Uh, so <clears throat> you've got a, a hub coming in, which is like broadband coming in, okay, from your from your school, so from your socket on the wall so there you go it's your filter it comes in and on the back of that you've got several connections now if these are all taken up because you've got an airbnb or whatever you've got or, or, or which is a hostel or whatever um, you want to extend that so what the easiest way to do it is to buy it doesn't have to be this particular brand i've got nothing to do with the company or anything i'm just showing you this is an eight port it doesn't even have to be poe the only reason I'm showing you this because it gives you a little bit more scope, okay? So if you look at the bottom here, we've got PoE, yeah? Gigabyte ports, it's fast ports, traffic monitor, and it's all plug and play and metal casing, whatever, right? So inside the box, what have we got? Let me tell you. Right, put that to one side. Gives you a bit of a structure leaflet and whatnot. So what we're interested in, this is not this is a unmanaged switch. In other words, it's just, like you said, plug and play. So we pop them out. On the back of this now, you have eight ports. You've got four, which are PoE, power over Ethernet, which means you could actually power one of these devices, which we'll show in a minute. This is just, well, it's a, it's a Meraki, again, nothing to do with the company. It's just a Wi-Fi booster ap whatever you want to call them but it's an access point okay so if you had this in your hostel whatever then you they could also get wi-fi on their phones or their laptops if they don't have an internet if they don't have an ethernet connection so the rest you can use them all as ethernet connections so uh let's let's see what we can do here so we're gonna what you do is plug actually you're gonna plug let's say you've got one port free in the back of your um router coming in that'll then go into one of the ports on here it doesn't matter which one we're going to put it in number eight okay then this becomes active after you put the power in okay let's just put the power in okay very crude way of showing you but that's all i've got to play with at the moment so this is your broadband coming in that's connected into the wall this is your router inside your house now you probably all recognize this so this now connects to the back of your switch to giving you more ports um what i would do i'll show you in a sec what i've done but you, what i would do is run cables from here and i'd put sockets on the wall in the rooms that you're going to put them pretty straightforward i've got links in my videos down below for um how i've done that and how to do rj45 connections so plugged it all in so we now have power on this device so if we just switch on the router we're not going to get an internet connection because it's not connected in, in where I am. And there you go. So there's an activity light coming on there saying that it's now connected and number eight port is being used. So then, let's just show you if we get another cable. Okay, just plug another cable in. So each one of these ports, if you plug the cable into, you can run that to each of the rooms that you're supplying internet to. And they will have internet. So this is now... The Wi-Fi device. So if we plug this into here, okay, and then what should happen? You'd have to power that normally. But what we'll do now, we'll change this for one of the PoE, which is power over Ethernet. We'll try this number. Let's go number one. We know where we are then. Okay. So once you plug it into number one, you are now getting power. To your Wi-Fi access point. Now these would be a they, these would be a, a booster or whatever, and then these lights will come active if you've got internet connection. Uh, all I'm trying to get out here is how to create a very very simple um, in-house network, which is quite sort of cheap. I think these what were these? I think these were about forty-five pound a piece, something like that. As you can see, we've got power over Ethernet state and it's in, it's connected. We've got one light coming on, 
um, and we've got number eight uplink which is coming from the router so from the router to your switch and then from your switch to each device in each room that you want uh, it's pretty straightforward I'll show you one I've set up earlier so here we've got the activity coming on now look see on the Wi-Fi on the Wi-Fi booster so normally you'd have to have a power unit to power this but we're not because this is a, called a power over the Ethernet switch and that's powering it for us so quite a nice little device actually let's go walkies here we go so this is a power over the Ethernet switch okay we've got a cable coming in from our network all right which is connected to a socket on the wall there so that's given us internet access in theory for, for another switch okay that comes along so that's coming that's coming really that's coming from a router okay that's that's your internet so that comes along goes in and goes into this and links up to this then this then will send your internet or what would you want to call it connection to each one of these devices so uh this one these well all these are connected to these little boxes okay and these boxes then connect to a laptop which is giving it full access and there's four of these stations okay we'll go to the rest there's four stations and they're all got internet access so if you can understand what i mean is the fact that if you've got one of these in your house in a central point then each one of these ports apart from the first one which is the uplink coming from your router each one of these then can power a separate device so laptop or pc in that particular room and then if you want to use another one of these you can actually boost that going to a wi-fi ap access point or a wi-fi booster anywhere you want in your premises or you can put another link from this and put another switch on top so you can have 16 ports uh, it's quite or you just buy a bigger one as simple as that instead of buying eight you buy a 12 or you buy a whatever you want 24 if you buy a 24 and then i'll show you a 24 switch as well here we go this is a 24 port switch now you could put a cabinet in your premises somewhere and then you've got 24 devices you can plug in now don't forget this will come from your router so one will come from your router into here what the hell is that looks like a bird um but don't forget the more devices connected to a switch the more you're going to lose your bandwidth on your broadband connection so this is the this is the downfall okay uh, if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and like that would be great let's just finish off with that would be great so a very very simple home network from your router to a switch from a switch depending on how many devices you want around the house or your premises whatever that's the size of the switch you want not this one but i mean 8 12 24 48 whatever you want and then you can also use one of the ports to power wi-fi wi-fi adapters or ap's whatever you want to use okay so thanks very much for watching if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up a very quick video on it wasn't that quick on how to extend your home network or small business or small premises take care and we'll definitely catch you in the next one